Welcome dear learners. Today we are going to learn how to perform TPR. That is temperature, pulse and respiration. I would like to show you the equipment that we are going to use in order to perform this skill. I have a thermometer here, which is the digital one. I have a trolley. I have a kidney dish, which has dry swamp and two swabs that are used with disinfectant. I also have my ready. Okay. Here's my patient. This is Ms. Susie, who seems to be unconscious because she can't respond to either pain, calling name, or anything, so she is somehow unconscious. However, we're going to perform the skill and I will maintain the communication with her throughout the procedure. Good morning, Mrs. Susie. My name is Rafael. I'm your nurse today and I am going to perform TPR. I'm going to assess your temperature pulse and respiration. Now, if you allow me, I would like to go and wash my hands and then start the procedure. I hope you are still comfortable. Thank you. All right, so I have managed to wash my hands and perform social hand washing. So now we're going to start by cleansing the armpit with a dry swab. So with the dry swab, we're going to try to clean our armpit, starting from the anterior to the posterior, to make our armpit, our patient's armpit dry. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we discard. Now, this is our thermometer. So. We have to clean our thermometer starting from the cleanest part to the dirtiest part. Whenever the thermometer is from the trolley, that is, it is not from the patient, we consider it to be clean from the bowel down, like this. So we clean from the bowel down, mm -hmm. and then we discard. And before we can insert it into our patient's armpit, we have to switch it on and make sure that it is at its starting point. Mm -hmm. This thing. Mm -hmm. Now <coughs> we can put it on our patient's armpit. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Can we go? Now, we're going to assess the patient's pulse and respiration simultaneously. But we'll start by palpating the patient's pulse. Now we are just going to focus on the radial pulse. You have to put your two tips of fingers on the radial pulse here at the wrist and palpate it up until we can feel the pulse. Now I can feel the pulse. That says I can start counting. And now I can see my patient's respiration. I can see the rising and the falling of the patient's chest. That says I can start. Now I have my nurse's watch, which I'm going to use to count the respiration and the pulse. going to take the pulse for a minute.
Hmm. Now, I've managed to calm the patient's pulse. In order to avoid distraction to the patient, uh, we don't have to move our hand from the radial pulse. We have to now go uh, to the chest. Uh, by assessing the patient's respiration, we focus on the patient's chest. But we make sure that we don't um, make, make our patient aware that we are looking at his or her respiration or the patterns of breathing. Now, I have managed to count my patient's respiration. This is how we count it. Now, this is how we assess the patient's respiration. We look at the patient's inhalation and exhalation, which is being determined by the rising and the falling of the chest. So as the patient breathes in, the chest rises, and as the patient breathes out, the chest falls. So that is a uh, one full breath, um, breath, breath. One full breath is equal to the rising and the falling of the chest. That is inhalation and exhalation. So now let's look at our patient's chest. And we have to count it for a full minute. All right, let's look at this chest. Rising and full. That is full one breath. Inhalation and exhalation. That is one full breath. So let's come together. Mm -hmm. One and two. and three and four till we have full one minute and now we hear the beeping sound look at the patient's temperature is 37.5 degrees celsius and it's normal now we have to cleanse the thermometer um, when you clean the thermometer we clean it from the cleanest to the dirtiest. Now that the valve is from the empty, we're going to start from here, down to the valve in a circular motion and this part. All right, so these are the findings. The body temperature of our patient is 37.5 degrees Celsius and it is normal. The pulse is 72 beats per minute. And it's also normal. The pulse is not bounding, it's not ready, and it is regular. The breathing, the respiration is 14 breaths per minute, and that rate is normal. The chest expands up to its full capacity without obstruction, and it's normal. And the breathing pattern is regular with no breathing sounds. So that says uh, the respiration is normal. Thank you. Now I'm going to record and record.